Hello, this is Ayush Kumar, lead for Team Shonia Triple I DDM Kanchip. Our team is divided into three subsystems, namely mechanical, software, and electronics, which works together to ace this challenge. So, in this hardware demonstration, we will be presenting you our suspension manipulator, wheel mounts, CAD modelings, and other simulation. So, let's start with our manipulator. I am Manjul Shivasta, a member of Mechanical Group. So, as you can see, this is our fully developed manipulator R from scratch. So, I will be telling you about the working and design consideration of our manipulator. So, let's talk about the kinematics of our manipulator arm. At its core, our arm operates on a multi-axis articulated design boosting joints with 5 degrees of freedom. Each joint is equipped with RMCS high torque motors and encoders to facilitate precise positioning and movement in three-dimensional space. In the design phase, we meticulously analyzed factors such as required payload capacity and rover ground clearance, crucial for efficient task execution and maintenance operations, leveraging advanced manufacturing technologies including water jet cutting, laser cutting and 3D printing, we crafted our manipulator arm with precision and duration in mind. Employing materials like aluminium 6061 and PETG for 3D printing, we ensured optimal strength to weight ratio and structural integrity. Our end effector, fabricated through PETG based on 3D printing, incorporates a gear mechanism actuated by servo motors, complemented by a camera for real-time feedback to the rover's control system. Additionally, we integrate various sensors including force sensors, stress, stress sensors, etc. Furthermore, we employ a pulley mechanism to facilitate accurate and precise movement of arm link, ensuring smooth and efficient operation and main to concentrate the weight of the motors at the center of the base. As the mechanical team concludes its work, our focus shifts to the software team tasked with achieving autonomous functionality. I am Om Kinagi, electronics member of Mass Triple team. To walk you through the electronics side of manipulator, we have integrated four RMCS motors, a stepper motor and a gripper DC motor. Nonce control is achieved by utilization of encoder values from RMCS motors and count values from stepper motor. This has enabled our manipulator achieve precise control through PID using position as feedback loop. We have successfully achieved its teleoperation goal. It is currently being operated by a single 12 volt battery so that it seamlessly integrates into a rover power system, ensuring uninterrupted operation. We are currently working on the installation of limiting switches for safety of some links and featuring a force sensor on the gripper jaws to get grip feedback. We further aim to work towards the full autonomy of our manipulator. This is our Rovex manipulator, visualized in Arvis and visualization tool in ROS. We are using the Move It Motion Planning Framework as it teases our task in defining various aspects of the manipulator, say from inverse kinematics to collision matrix, etc. The green color indicates the start state or the initial state of the manipulator. Here we have defined the goal state of the manipulator in terms of its orientation and its position. As you can see, the manipulator achieves its goal state intelligently and autonomously by avoiding the collisions. The gray part indicates the final state. I am Panish, a mechanical team member from Team Soria. We do put wheel mounts on it. So I make these wheel mounts on with base cars, sheet metal. And when it comes to wheels, these are made of uh, sheet metal. I, it's a combination of sheet metal and plastic ones. In our recent work on our rover, we focused on developing custom wheels capable of traversing sandy terrains with limited commercially off-the-shelf options available. We took on the task of designing our own. Although we faced initial challenges, we enhanced the design by adding extra support for better traction. After thorough testing, we confirmed its effectiveness. Additionally, we optimized the wheel attachment method to ensure it met the rover's weight requirements. Since our weight is very constrained, we designed our wheel mount in such a way that we used sheet metal bending for this operation. I am Shubh Khandelwa, an electronics member of Team Shonaya. 
I am currently working on the drive control for the lower. As you can see here, we are using two RMCS motor, one for wheel control and one for strain controls. The strain control motor works on position control, while the wheel control motor works on velocity control. The maximum achievable speed for the wheel motors is 1.19 meter per second. Currently, we are working on integrating encoder feedback with our drive control system. Encoders are going to be used as a feedback mechanism to verify the angle of the steering motors. Freedom of movement from minus 60 to 60 degrees is provided for the steering motors. They will also be used for PID control for velocity in the wheel motors. After integration with encoders, the electronics team will work on perfecting the drive control system as a whole. The drive control system will then be integrated with the software using the serial. After these requirements are fulfilled, we will begin our testing phase for the drive control system from the electronic side. I am Aditi, a member of the software team. We are incorporating the Z2i stereo camera which offers RGB data, depth perception and point cloud data providing us with comprehensive environmental awareness. To leverage this data for mapping purposes, we employ the depth image to laser scan package. This package facilitates the conversion of depth images obtained from the camera feed into laser scans, a crucial input for our mapping procedures. Our mapping solution of choice is the SLAM mapping package, G-Mapping, which operates in real-time, dynamically updating the map and robots localization based on the incoming sensor data as shown in the simulation. This iterative process enables our robot to autonomously navigate through environments whether they are entirely unknown or partially mapped with precision and adaptability. So hello, I'm Devianjo from Mechanical Team, how the team Shunya, but here I am with our suspension system and steering mechanism and just so let me talk about our suspension system as you can see this is our suspension a one bogey of a triple bogey suspension system we, we manufactured this suspension system or you can say this bogey for testing field it is working and we will be manufacturing the other bogies like we have manufactured only one bogey we will be manufacturing the next two bogies very soon we are under the process of manufacturing now let me talk about the steering mechanism here we have our steering mechanism we designed our self-made steering mechanism using gears so starting from suspension our suspension undergo three process first process is designing process second is simulation then after that motion analysis of whole suspension system so we chosen our suspension system as triple bogey suspension system so we designed one of the bogey the designing process start with the schematics of suspension including the rover schematics as we have constrained with the dimension of the rover like 1 cross 1 cross 0 0.8 meter so we are designing our suspension which can be fitted in that dimension after designing phase the simulation phase come in which we undergo multiple simulation like we have 30 to 40 iteration of simulation then we get some output and we are using sheet metal for making our suspension system so that the our rover weight should come under 50 kg after that these two part is completed the design part and simulation part the motion analysis part come into picture we we do motion analysis of our suspension system the triple bogey suspension is system which passes the result that means it can traverse a object of 15 cm as you can see in the video now let's talk about the steering mechanism. We have made our own self-made steering mechanism using gears. We want our rover to be stable and did not encounter any kind of vibrations. Now combining all the parts of the rover, we have here a CAD model of our rover. Till this point, JSIS is being designed on and will be manufactured soon. Design and manufacturing of suspension, wheel mount, steering mechanism is completed along with manipulator. A electronics team is working on interfacing firmware for manipulator as well as drive control. Software team using tools like Movit, Gajibo, ROS to automate these in simulation. Thank you, Team Shomir.